guys, this is Hunter from Rock for Wishes. I am interviewing Andy with Danger yep. Kids. What's up? He's wearing one of our awesome shirts, as you can see. Hopefully, he wears it while performing tonight. <laughs> we'll, we'll find out. Oh yeah, for sure. I mean, um, we're all like really compassionate people. I think most of the people in this music scene are, and I think people, especially like, go see bands for fun, entertainment, and while you're at it, you're donating money to a good cause or multiple causes. So I, th I think it definitely could be. I've seen other things like it, you know, before. Um, so yeah, there's no reason why this one. Needs to be. What are some nationally known charities you would like to do? Um. My father passed away a few years ago and we donated, we had a place of like flowers and stuff, we had people send stuff to the um, National Heart Association. Um, and so yeah, that's that's one of mine. Um, off the top of my head, I can't think of any others. Uh, any breast cancer awareness too, that's not Susan D. Cohen, because I've heard they pocket a lot of that money. <laughs> but any other like breast cancer awareness or, you know, uh, money for cure is awesome for the people in my family that have died from that. Yeah, I'd say those two. Is this something you'd be willing to play at one point for your to get the transportation? Yeah, system? yeah, as long as it lines up. Like, it's hard for us to do um, one-offs and, like, on tour, you know, in certain cities just because we all live in different areas now. Like, um, Tyler and Jake, our bass player, both live in L.A. and the rest of us live in Ohio. So yeah, we kind of have to be on tour and be swinging through at the time. Yeah, yeah. I would definitely, like, if I saw you guys on tour and didn't have an OPS TV date, but I saw, like, Dallas and Kansas City, I'd ask you to do some Yeah, yeah, no, that'd be cool. Yeah, totally. Do you think having a diverse lineup is good? Kind of like we're doing for our next show? Yeah, yeah, definitely. Like, um, starts, even... Starts out with punk, goes to more like Hailstorm Shinedown, then goes to Metalcore. Yeah, yeah, no, totally. Um, any any show like that, like, we've, we've done tours with, like, um, very different bands spanning a bunch of different genres of music, and those tours always do really well. And um, you can actually make you make a lot of, a lot of bands that wouldn't normally see you otherwise. Um, so it's good for the bands, and it's good for the people just to you know branch out, and get out of their comfort zone a little bit, and listen to stuff they might normally listen to. Do you think other bands on this tour would like the concept? Yeah, yeah, totally. I mean, I think most bands I know would. All right, but to the general question. Okay. What was your inspiration to start writing and making music? Um, we've we've all been in bands for years, and um, I started playing guitar, and ever since I did, just became really interesting to me, just the concept of a guitar and stuff. I had no or no uh, experience playing before, and I got one for my birthday one year, picked it up, and just loved it, and started writing music instantly because it's like a, such a cool way to express yourself um, outside. Like I've grown up doing like art, like drawing and painting and stuff too, um, but music is much more expressive and. Um, it's much more fun to make, you know, it doesn't seem, never gets like tedious to me, like sometimes drawing can and stuff. Um, but yeah, I think we all just share a passion for music in general and writing it. It's just, uh, we write the music we like to listen to, so it's kind of cool. Do you remember when and where your first practice First practice ever? Um, as a band. As this band? Yeah. Okay, this band, um, it was in a uh, storage facility with like metal walls and it sounded terrible, but it was the only place you could practice on short notice. Yeah, actually, my friends are in band, they practiced at an old abandoned elementary school. Oh yeah, that's pretty tight. We practiced at a bowling alley for a while in this back room, so it's kind of tight. We could practice a few hours and go upstairs, grab pizza and a beer, and go back down and practice some more. So that was the coolest place to practice. Were you excited when you found out you are going to be on this tour? Oh yeah, yeah, very excited. We're, we're big fans of all these bands. Um, we've actually toured with them all on Warped Tour in 2014. Who's your favorite album? Favorite album? I really, man, I, before the tour, I think it was Motionless, and now I think it's Issues, just being on the tour with them, listening to them every night, and getting more familiar with their songs. They're just like so, so cool. They're, they have such a weird um, style of music that meshes together really well. And just, I really dig it. How did you guys get to know each other? Um, we were all in other bands in the Dayton, Ohio area growing up. And um, I was in a band, Jake was in another band. I used to um, scream a few songs with Jake's old band. They were like a pop punk band. So that pop punk band. Uh, Tyler was in one of my old bands for a while. And, um, that's how we all just knew each other from the local music scene. Alright. Pushmash or hardcore? I like push Um That's what I grew up doing, and 
I don't see many broken noses push moshing like I do in hardcore dancing. People just recklessly throwing arms. I mean, if you want to do that, that's cool. It, it still looks cool to us on stage, but um, I feel like push moshing is more, a little safer, but still, you know, let's out that aggression. So.